someone doesn't understand, help your friends, okay? So my name is Laura or Laura, and uh, I'm from Lithuania. Does anyone know where Lithuania is? Yeah. No one knows. It's okay. It's in Europe. Do you know where Germany is? Yes, so it's near there. And uh, I live in Dubai. That's where I met my friend Mariam. She's from Karachi. So say hello to Mariam. <laughs> and uh, we met uh, because we ride horses. So, you know, I know that here horses is a big thing, right? Yes. So uh, we ride a lot of horses in Dubai. I rode horses and um, I also do archery. Does anyone know what archery is? Yes. So we do horseback archery. And I also ride camels. Do you know what camels are? Yes. Very good. So uh, what I wanted to say, first of all, I wanted to say thank you to you, all of you, inviting me here uh, this beautiful morning in this amazing setting. You're so lucky to have this. I was living in the city. I didn't see blossoms. I didn't see trees. I didn't see the mountains. So every time I look there, it's 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 breathtaking. You're very lucky to have this beautiful nature here. And I also wanted to yeah, yeah you definitely deserve some applause. <laughs> Uh, you know, people from Europe actually pay a lot of money to go to places like that to find peace. And you live in peace, so you're already very blessed with this. I also wanted to say thank you to my friend Mariam for inviting me to Pakistan. It's my first time in Pakistan, and I'm loving it. We want to come back. It's so beautiful here. And I also wanted to say thank you to Anwar for hosting us and, and for showing the village and for, of course, inviting here. Uh, so I wanted to say a quick story about myself and I know Anwar talked about that failure is part of life. Uh, Mariam was translating a little bit to me. So I was actually one of the top students in high school, but I was a terrible student at university. I failed my first year exams so badly that I couldn't continue my second year at all. And I thought that's disaster, my life is finished, and what to do. So what I did instead, I actually found some work experience, and that changed everything. That work experience, while I couldn't continue university, actually people saw that you come with good intentions and you work hard, and they take more importance of that than your grades at university because when you go to work that's what people appreciate much more is your hard work and it's your good heart not what your grades are now what how many years I finished school I think 12 15 years and the grades I don't even remember my grades do you remember your grades no it doesn't matter it matters now because it's such a big part of your life but later in life it becomes past it doesn't make you who you are other things make you who you are. As I said, it's your hard work and your good heart. These are the most important things. And after that work experience, I was able to come back to university. And uh, my manager during that work actually encouraged me to become a teacher. So I'm a teacher. I teach physics and mathematics. And uh, I continued working at schools. I worked in England. And then I moved to Dubai to work to work there. So I have a lot of Pakistani students actually, and uh, they so dear to my heart. <laughs> and now when I'm traveling, I'm actually sending a lot of pictures to my Pakistani students, and they're all very happy that I'm finally visiting in here. <laughs> um, also, I wanted to tell you one more thing: that um, when you win or when you lose, what is the one thing that can make you feel better? What makes you feel better? No. Okay, let's let's change it. When you lose, what makes you feel better? Hope. Very good. Any other answers? What else makes you good? Feel good. Only hope. What about others around you? Does it matter what they say, what they do? How what your family says, what your friends say, does that matter? Is that important? So I want you to be what you want others to be in this situation. If you want others to help you, if you want others to encourage you, well, what's most important is to be kind to others. Yes? Because what's missing the most in the world, I actually traveled 80 countries. And when I meet people, I don't ask what grades they have. 
it's not important. What I remember is how kind they were to me. That's what we remember the most, how kind someone is to us. Not their grades, not their achievements, not how many trophies. It's nice, I see it, but then I forget it. It's just the shiny thing. What's most important is when you close your eyes, what do you feel? It's the kindness and goodness of someone's heart. So what you want others to be, I want you to be that to others. And most importantly, to be kind to whom? To yourselves, exactly. We always forget, we always been taught to be kind to parents, what grades they have. It's not important. What I remember is how kind they were to me. That's what we remember the most, how kind someone is to us. Not their grades, not their achievements, not how many trophies. It's nice, I see it, but then I forget it. It's just the shiny thing. What's most important is when you close your eyes, what do you feel? It's the kindness and goodness of someone's heart. So what you want others to be, I want you to be that to others. And most importantly, to be kind to whom? To yourselves, exactly. We always forget, we always been taught to be kind to parents, to siblings, to elders. And I know you probably very good with that because I see a lot of goodness in the villages that I travel in the Chitral in this area. But what we forget always is to be kind to ourselves. So remember that, that what you want to see in others, be that yourself. And kindness is what's going to change how you feel and how you make others feel. And it's going to change our future. And you are the future. We are getting old now, right? You're going to change it. So what do you want to see the difference? You need to start making that. If you want to find more winners, make everyone feel like they are winners. It's not just about winning a trophy. There are so many things that can make you a winner in life. And the most important thing, as I said, is being kind. For me, that's the biggest win in life. Because that's what we want our families to be. That's what we want in our religion to be, right? And that's what makes us feel good. That's the biggest accomplishment. And that's what I want to see most in the world. So thank you again for hosting me here. And uh, it's beautiful to see all your faces. And uh, yes, just remember to be kind to yourself, most importantly. Okay, <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, thank you so much, Miss Laura.